Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Record where we talk about whatever we want. And today we have Rome and Mike from the comedy Ooh. group Dorm Payment. Thanks for coming, guys. Hey, thank you for having us. You know, I, I, I think I could be wrong, but I think this is the first time we have a guest that's not just like in this framing. There's like a guest. Double guest. Mm. Double guest. Yeah. Well. Cause we've, we had, we've had double guests before, but we always squeeze in this framing oh, or we're like all like really yeah. squishy. They used to have like three, four people on one side. Yeah. Actually, Jeff, if, uh, Jess, if you really knew, uh, Jess, Jesus, I just called you Jess. Uh, maybe it's because you were you wrong. You called me Jess? <laughs> I did. Uh, no, uh, if you knew your JK news history, then you would know that when we had all guys episode, we had new people over there. Uh, but you don't know your JK news. Yeah, you I'm not even history. talking about that because that's like a that's a like a special thing, like a special episode. Like that's not what I mean. Like normal JK news. Oh, okay, sure. Hello. <laughs> Jess. Okay. Sounds like a Jess thing to say anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not Jess. I'm Tiff. Get my name right. So thanks for coming, guys. Thank you. You know, I think it might be you that I read about recently in Shan's book. Was it? Oh, I got so terrified. <laughs> I said, ran about. I looked at him like he was gonna save me. What she read? <laughs> oh, you know Shannon too. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So she, um, she actually oh, okay. wrote about about Rome going on a blind date with yeah. Priscilla, which I related to the most. Shan, I liked your book. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, Cause you know yeah. Priscilla? No, no, no. This, there's like six girls yeah. that are participating in Shan's yeah. thing. So it's her. I know about it. I was supporting her, listening. <laughs> game of Desire. Shout outs. Shout out, yeah. Shan. And so, I need that book. Tiff, what's the game? What? Yeah, what's, what's going on? What's the game of desire? Yeah, you gotta read it? the book, get the book. No, but what's the, the pitch? I need a premise. Okay, so here's the pitch. Shannon Boudram, she's a sexologist, like relationship therapist. And it, she took, how many girls, six girls? Six. Yeah, six. six oh, I already girls. like this. Six girls that um, I guess have trouble. Uh, in the dating world. In the dating world. And so she's helping them out. And each, oh. all of them kind of fit, kind of like a different stereotype or have different problems. And she helps oh. people uncover things such as, um, oh, I'm just this type of girl. So that's why I only meet dudes like this. And then they help them realize like, oh wait, I can change who I am to meet better people, oh. that kind of stuff. And not just that, but like get your dream guy. Yeah, then, yeah. And then also like how to how to act like in a date and like how to prepare yourself. Even makeup tips and like self-defense tips like I love this. But she rubs her pussy and puts it all over her neck. Yeah, she yeah. does. Vaginal it's called, fluids. Yeah, it's called uh, va vag vag pheromones. Yeah, some type of <laughs> Yeah, 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 some type of pheromones, yeah. Man, it was like going this way, and it went this way for me. Cause I was like, I was like, oh, six girls, mm -hmm. oh yeah, ooh, and they got trouble, what? Like, wait, what'd you think was gonna happen? Like, six girls can't get an orgasm, so she helps them through this journey, and then like, they, like, I'm like, Rome, you're, you're so lucky, you got to, you got to fuck six girls? What the no, fuck? No, no, I don't they didn't even have the stamina for that. That's what, <laughs> I'm too sleepy for that. But I did go on a blind date, that was cool. That was my first blind date, and it was- Did you smell her pussy immediately? <laughs> <laughs> she did not doubt. Smell it. like pussy. That's yeah, yeah. Stupid. Well, I mean, it's somebody a, it's a, here smells like pussy, and it's not me. It's a pertinent question, I think. <laughs> so, were you one of the uh, guys that were set up with one of the six girls? Yeah. Is that how it worked? Yeah. So, how did it go? Like, well, no, it, it went. It went stuff. really well. She hit me up, and she was like, "Hey, uh, I know this kind of weird, but you want to go on a blind date?" I was like. <laughs> yeah, she honestly she was like it's gonna be food involved. Like, oh, okay, all right, yeah, let's. That sounds fun. Yeah, that's where he was so. Yeah, I was like, let's do it. <laughs> food, a nice conversation. I can do that. But on the blind date, it was cool because once we got done with the blind date, Shannon was like, "Hey, uh, did you notice anything about the blind date?" I was like, "Well, uh, I just I had a good time." She was like, "Well, I actually told Priscilla to disagree with everything." That was what? one of the tests. To disagree with everything you said for the first. 30, the first half? Uh, for the yeah, first half of the day. Did you like, notice? Yeah. I didn't notice because, but that, uh, she You weren't like, man, this is just so she said That was a testament to the, com <laughs> to the I can carry conversation, because I didn't know, like, I told her I was born in Germany, and the first thing that the- She was like, no, you weren't. No, first she thing Priscilla like, said, she was like, uh, I don't I don't like the German language. That's, I was like, yeah, me neither. It's kind of like, what? <laughs> He's just an easy going guy. Yeah, I, was like, I don't really like it like that either. It's kind of harsh. Like, it like, Priscilla was like, damn, all this shit's working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, but it was funny. Priscilla's just a, she's a great girl, so it was cool. So did you find oh, anything out about yourself? <laughs> uh, it, I really wasn't focused on, I found out stuff about myself once I took her along. She has like a two hour assessment test. Okay. That's, oh. that's longer than the yeah. date. Did the yeah, did the whole workbook. I recently did the workbook yeah, too. It's, it's, good. It's, it's, a, it's long, it's, it's, it's definitely long. long, but you find a lot. My lesson here is don't listen to women and you'll stay very stoic and chill, <laughs> just like Rome. There you go. That's the lesson. Don't, don't, don't try listen. to understand what they're saying, just, just agree eat. with them so you can get laid, hopefully. <laughs> 
Just that's eat. The, that's what Rob's saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm with you, man. I'm saying be your I'm authentic with... self. You sold me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Wait, so you say you were born in Germany? Mm -hmm. How did you end up over there? Uh, my mom and my dad had sex yeah. in Germany when they were in the military. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ramstein? Military kids. Yeah. Ramstein. That's all I know about Germany too. No, that, yeah. The, 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 that's the, where the, the baby. People always ask me, do I know any German? I'm like, I know kindergarten and I know Kazuntai. Kindergarten is a German word? Think about it. Kind kindergarten. Kindergarten. We're completing these other sentences. You know, we're, we're on a blind date. How long were you in Germany for? Uh, two years. Oh. I was a child. And then oh. we left. And then I was. Kindergarten. Small. Then I was in Panama. Oh. Then I was in North Carolina. So, yeah, around. North Carolina is like your, would you consider that your? Yeah, that's where I was raised. Like Chair Force? Army. Uh -huh. Army. That was gonna be my next guess. <laughs> you, you're gonna go down a list of everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like, like what, four? That's like fucking um, astrology people, you know? Like Pisces? No? Oh, I can tell. You're Aquarius. Yeah. Uh, you must be uh, Sagittarius. Uh, <laughs> rising. Sagittarius rising. <laughs> so I knew there's a Leo in there somewhere. That sounds like a Marvel movie. Sagittarius right. rising. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it does. Everything's fucking rising now in movies. Jesus. <laughs> I'm a Libra. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I was gonna ask where are you from. Oh, I'm born in Miami. I was born in Miami. That's sexy as fuck. No, no, don't let. Sexy as fuck. No, no, no. Hold on. Mike is exotic. He's being modest. Mike, tell him what you are. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, like I said, I was born in Miami, and my parents are Jamaican, so. See, he's exotic. That's my exoticness, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so casual about it. That's how I feel about it. Dude, Miami's sick, though. I, I didn't experience a Miami that you see on. Did you try Coke? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing. <laughs> you try fat booties? Um, I wanted to. Strip clubs? The strip clubs? Ooh, strip clubs I tried. Strip clubs? <laughs> I had my first strip club experience uh, the day after prom. Um, my best friend, who's in my group camp, uh, he went like the the night before, no, the week before on his birthday, and I was like, man, I've been 18 for a year now. I haven't. Why didn't you go oh. for because his I, birthday? I, 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 well, I grew up in a house where my mom didn't let me do anything. Oh. So leaving the house after six, like once you get in from school, there was That's really it. no excuse That's to it. go anywhere else. Yeah. Because right. where are you gonna go? Yeah. You a kid? School's out. Why you need to go anywhere else? If it's not practice or anything. So I didn't go to strip club um, until after prom. You know, I had a, I had the night to myself, and yeah, I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> wait, wait. I love that. <laughs> wait, wait. You went prom night? Uh, the, the the next night. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. So prom was Friday. We went Saturday night. For a young man, the experience of the first time strip club is a lot, especially in a place oh. like Miami and stuff like yeah. that. So it's, I've ne I thought I was like a pretty calm, collective guy, but I, I went to a strip club and I immediately got nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Dude, me too. Yeah, yeah. You too, but I mean, nervous? you're a woman, it's well, like. Women get nervous. I should be, I should be going in there like, yeah, I'm about to see you. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> Excuse me, um, yeah, I was really nervous. Excuse me, um, can I um, see your titties? <laughs> <laughs> they were already out. They were already out. Did you go alone? No, 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 I went with like five of my friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had no reason to be uh, scared, but I was scared. The first time I went to the strip club, there was a girl in there. Her name was Miss Wet Wet. Miss Wet Wet? <laughs> Wait, how do you find out her name? Like, did she have a she name had a, she, she had a shirt on that said Miss, Miss Wet Wet. They called her to the stage. She came to the stage. She dumped a <laughs> bottle of water in her vagina. They spun her around like a sprinkler, and she started. Wow. That oh, dude, Miss Wet Wet. That's a missed opportunity. She's wow. more like a wet jet. <laughs> Miss Wet Jet. Miss Wet Jet. She's a jacuzzi. <laughs> You have, you have, you have yeah, a wet? You hold, I have a wet jet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, a sweater. Yeah, yeah. A beautiful machine. So that was your first experience? That was first experience. My first experience, I saw some wild shit too. I saw like, um, there was this foam stage, and this was in TJ on Adelitas, oh. which is like, they're famous for having a shit ton of uh, strip clubs there and stuff. And um, there, that's where I saw this stripper, like stuff, dollar bills inside her cooch. And I was like, that's so unsanitary. That's disgusting. She's going to get a fucking UPI. Yeah, these, these dollars but, remain everywhere. Yeah. Spit it out like a money machine? Well, no, because then she had like people go in and like take it out. Wait, with what? Like their mouth. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. And then also like they had like, uh, and same thing, like the whole foam thing, right? So then they would have, she would have like this couple like motorboat her and like they're just like filled with foam and stuff. I'm like, whoa, oh. this is wild. Like, oh, this is what strip club yeah, oh, that is. Like? That's Disgusting wild. pussy juice but, from a stripper. But dude, strippers in Miami probably the hottest on earth, right? No, they're, it's it's a top notch in Miami. Yeah, really That's why it's Miami easy to get right. hooked in like Miami. I kind of mm -hmm. checked this it, for scientific research. Yeah, yeah. and I, I went to Miami, then my second city I lived in was Atlanta, so. Oh no. Yeah, so I was just like overwhelmed. My tip ran over with strip clubs. Yeah. Wait, is Atlanta strip club is this hot? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Miami's way better. Yeah. 
I wouldn't say way. Miami's better. Yes. Atlanta's right there. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. I heard yeah, Atlanta's pretty lot. known for their st uh, strip clothes too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then, so when you come to LA, it's kind of like, oh. Oh, LA is just yeah. LA's watered down everything because yeah. it can't get it can't get fully naked. I, 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 uh, let me let me. There's no alcohol. There is right. Well. Yes. Yeah, I think so. That's the bullshit. If there's no alcohol. Yeah. So who's that to protect? The strippers or the or the customers? Both. Interesting. Allegedly. No, what do you think? Yeah, I'll, I'll think. I wasn't sure. I it. It's not, I don't think it, I think that's that's what they intended. I don't okay. think it does. Because yeah. at first I thought initially it's just for the women. Like, of course they don't want to get guys get drunk and go crazy on these naked women. But then I was in an Uber one day and the guy was like, no, it's for us so we don't spend too much. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think that's a good, I, I think they want you to spend. <laughs> he's just looking on the bright side. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's for him to not spend too much. Yeah. It's funny he thinks he's being protected by the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> What's the purpose of a strip club? Are you supposed to get all the mental images and go jack off later? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. That's really? true. Yeah. And it depends, like if you're a rapper, it's promo. Yeah. Oh. If you're a rapper, you get you film it. Oh, he went to strip club, and then they, they they pretty much put it out on public. Like he came last night and spent ten G's, and he, you know that's like a. And then they all talk. Tax you write Like it's a flex a little bit. Mm -hmm. I see. The thing is, you go in there with the intention of like, I, well, at least I went on the last time we really went was for my birthday, like two three years ago. And that was and, the last time. And you go in there, and you go in the intention with like on a budget of your, but. Then you realize you're a guy and you're stupid and you're weak. Yeah. And then you leave and you're like, why'd I spend $400 oh, in there? Yeah. You know, my cheapness overrides my ability to want pussy. No, no. I, that's what you think. Then, and when I go in there, because when I was 18, I was like, man, if I talk to a girl, she'll suck my dick for free. Not thinking about like the dates and shit. And I'm in there and I'm the whole time I'm like, I'll wait for the two for one lap dance deal. Thank you very much. And the whole time I'm judging all these girls like, man, you are professional money extractors. I'll wait for that fucking two for one lap dance deal. And then the DJ will be like, all right, two for one lap dance. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go get my girl. Fuck yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 a dangerous place. That's why I don't go there. Yeah, yeah I try to stay away as much as I can. I only go on special occasions, so I'm feeling really good about myself. You go alone? Okay. I've been alone. You gotta go on a weekday on a, a afternoon, yep. and they have two for one dance lap dance specials for $15. The funny thing is that last time he tried to go alone, he ended up running to everybody he knew. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> everyone it was, on that day. it was my first time going to an LA strip club, so I didn't know anything about LA strip club. Which one did you go to? Um, I went to uh, Deja Vu. Crazy Girl? No, it wasn't Crazy Girl. It was the other one in West Hollywood. Oh, I know, I know which one, but I can't think of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wild Horse? Yeah, Wild one, Horse. one of them. Yeah. We were just shooting at a strip club in the middle of the day, and what's fun Deja about it Vu. is normally I've only been at night, so you hear like cool names like Chi, we got Cheetah coming out, and you're like, oh shit, that's cool. Or like, we got like the fucking Tigress, and you're like, oh shit. You get impressed cool. by the names? Yeah, of course. Not the but, skills? Yeah, They're like WWE but they, girls. They during the day, crazy names. During the day, it's like, come to the stage right now, the elevator, and you're like, oh. <laughs> elevator. What are talking about Wait, corporate shit? Like you were, well, you were they were gearing up. Yeah, they're gearing up. <laughs> yeah, they were gearing up. They got to warm up. Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. <laughs> the Walker. Yeah, I ended up seeing everybody I knew. Air tire. Jumbotron. Yeah, it turned into. He was like, he thought it was a low key night, and it was. They were. Yeah, I literally, I left the house at like 12:30 at night. I was sleeping before I left too. I was just like. <laughs> Getting Get energy. Charge, Let me go to a strip club. It's late. No one's there. Everyone's sleeping. Go have me a drink. The road was empty. I was like, let me go have a drink. See some, you know, maybe get a dance or two. Come back home and act like nothing happened. I got to, <laughs> I got there and it was literally like all of LA there. Wow. <laughs> People with cameras. I got like five pictures taken of me. Wow. You didn't want to leave like right away? Like, ah, oh, I know. He drove, you know, well, where we live, you after you drive. Right. And, I, and I had to pay for it all to get in. So yeah. I wasn't gonna, yeah, I wasn't yeah, gonna yeah. just. Like, you take Rome to the strip club for his birthday two years ago. Okay, right? I did, yeah. Well, we, yeah, well, I went with you. You were there together, okay. Yeah. How many lap dances did you get him for his birthday? How many lap dances do you think collectively that you you, you, you got? Each of them, we, it was four, three of us. I think they all paid for me at least one lap dance. Yeah. So you, you had maybe four lap dances? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, he had way more than that, but yeah. I'm at a bachelor party, okay. My friend gets 14 lap dances. Okay. He pays for them or people just No, keep we're all it. getting him for so many fucking lap dances. Okay. But did he come in his pants? We're basically like, I mean, right? We're basically at the point where I'm like, I'm like, I feel uncomfortable. Like, I'm like, should I call my wife and like, tell her I love her? Like, I, there's a lot going on. Yeah, it's just there's so much happening. And then with this guy, I'm like, dude, I gotta watch this guy get married, and I gotta know that he had 14 fucking lap dances. I'm like, we can we can never tell her. Where's Why didn't the, you just make it an even 15? It's a, it's a lot. What's the what's the breaking the point? Though? You had four for his birthday. No, that was the ones we got him. Yeah, like, but he had way more. But but the thing is, I we what we do is we scope. 
out which girls and then we stick to the ones that are good. So uh, out of like 20 of the girls, like five of them are. are, are they deep. work hard. They work hard. You want the, I don't care if you even look that good. As long as you work hard in there. That's what I want to see. I come from a background of working hard, creating. Yeah. We all create. You want a great entertainer. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, I don't want to like this is you love me. Someone's <laughs> passionate about their work. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. And I know you don't, but when I leave, I want to be like, wow, she really. You want to like pretend in your head that maybe there was a different like magic moment that we had. For $500? Yeah. 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 I think she loved me, yeah. <laughs> Just a yeah, I'm really bit. superficial. I, I end up being really picky too, and I'm like, <laughs> Mm, she's not that good. It took you forever to find a stripper. It really did. <laughs> yeah, like, Tiff, hurry the fuck up already. Tiff is like, next, well, bitch. <laughs> I'm out here fucking buying lap dances no. for everyone. I'm like, Tiff, you're taking like an hour just to pick a girl. Just get the biggest around. titties. Because we were in Vegas at Sapphire or something, Blue Sapphire. Yeah. Like the biggest yeah. fucking strip club. It was it huge. It's not like they got huge. snakes around their neck. Right. <laughs> it's so big it has a car dealership in it. It was fucking <laughs> gigantic. It's like three stories. So I'm like, shit. listen, Joe, I gotta pick the right one. Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, it's your money. You gotta listen. You gotta it's his money, but yeah. Well, it's his money, you gotta make sure it's right. <laughs> well, it was fun though. Was so you know, bad. the one that Brie got, I was like, damn, that she disappeared. So I got another uh, stripper for one of our friends and she just pulled her fucking Chet, I mean, her shirt off, and she she put her fucking nipples on top of her nipples and <laughs> did this shit. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> We, now I don't know what to see. Now, I don't know about like looking at this yeah. because I'm looking at my friend's titties. Wait, so that's weird. Titties. <laughs> Wait, she pulled out your friend's. Yeah. She pulled out your friend. Yeah, and she took off her shirt, and oh. then she took off her shirt, and he, she fucking. That's great entertainment. Yeah, nipple, nipple slap. There. <laughs> I completely yeah. missed that. That's what I, that's what I be talking about. Well, yeah, you were there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I could be, you probably didn't want to look. You probably well, no, my friend can, that's, that's his girl. I wouldn't look. Oh, okay, okay. But I it was it. fast. <laughs> <laughs> but I miss You're watching the uh, yeah. show, she just pulls it down, and I'm like, oh! If you ever get a chance, there's a place in Atlanta, I don't know if it's still called Claremont Lounge, but it's like the oldest, it's like, the, it's a landmark in Atlanta, it's called Claremont Lounge, it's where the 60 and up strippers are. So you go in there and 60? 60 years old? Yeah, 50 to 60. It's like a land. It's supposed to be like this is what you go. This is the old strippers. I thought like you meant senior. old, like as in it's been around for oh, many no, 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 years. No, 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 no. No, like a senior <laughs> citizen strip club. Colonial strip club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they got hats. <laughs> they look like, you know, the, for the oatmeal man, like the Quaker man <laughs> in there, fucking hats. Oh, and so man. you go, and my homeboy said he went in there and there was this old lady that came out. And she, he said her vagina looked like pig skin. Ooh. And she gets stripped. Ooh. <laughs> like some silly putty. She's like, you want to throw the ball around? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Why is that a turn on? I don't know. It's a place. It's, it's a landmark. People fetishes, man. I don't know. So there's I special places like I used that. to help give my grandma a sponge bath. Oh my god, I thought you were saying yeah, something else. Yeah, yeah. Grandma's <laughs> dancing and But that's still kind of that's still kind of weird. They right? don't look no, that good. Help. I, I mean, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, that's sweet. That's... No, no, I'm talking about, but yeah, like they don't look very good. Oh no. It's not... What? <laughs> Are you rating your grandma's vagina right now? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like someone like that. Is Five good out of ten. They don't look that good. I'll tell you that much. You might Yo, as well there, give it a number. <laughs> there's gilf porn, dude. There's gilf. I like, I like gilf. I like, like what? What? I'm, I know you never heard this before, but I'm not opposed to a, a little gilf. I'm not opposed to a little. Wow. Gilf. How okay. much is a little gilf? Like nine hours? You're an open-minded man, dude. Because <laughs> I like the opposite. You like young girls. You like girls who aren't grandmas. No, 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 no. Like I've seen like yeah, like young girls with old dudes, right? You but like then that. like, but then I can't see old ladies with young dudes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why? It looks stressful. I like it. <laughs> I'm not even talking about MILF though. I'm talking about Gil. Yo. I know, I know, I know, I know. You'd be down as mad? You've like never, Gil. you tell me you've clicked on Gil. Oh yeah, man. It's <laughs> You liked it? Look, the thing, the thing that I find too is especially when their face is mad old, but their body still look a little young. <laughs> that really gets me. I'm you like, wow. well, that makes sense. Yeah. No, no, that makes sense. Like, that their makes face sense. is old, but then their right. bodies. Be like, like, I'm talking about <laughs> Gilf. Like she looks like she's a fucking lunch lady Gilf. You know, like, oh, ugh. Yeah. well, like she's out of shape Gilf. Yeah, like, she's a good Gilf. Like she's a great Gilf. Okay, I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing really Gilf. attractive about that. That's what I'm saying. But there is a there is a side of me that like. Normalcy. Oh, I was like, about to say you're. You like, know, you can, never mind. Sometimes I think a porn is like too. It's too polished, right? Okay, okay. you like a little like rug. Girls are all nines and tens. Like amateur shit. Sometimes. Oh yeah, no amateur. I, like I want to see a three. 
It, you want to see some razor bumps? No, no, no. It feels real and authentic, yeah. and there's passion. There's a little more passion. It's like a boyfriend and girlfriend recording on their fucking webcam, and yeah, I'm watching solid. that shit. Yep. I like that. You don't feel like there's eight dudes in the room no. behind a camera with a sound. Yeah. You just, you, when, you know. If I have, can imagine them saying, "All right, we need, <laughs> we, we need the gaffer to come in," uh, we need. I don't want to imagine all this. Imagine them saying, "Points, points, points, points." Hold for plane. Hold for plane. Striking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.